guys and students, welcome to Teacher SP TV. And for today's lesson, I'm going to teach you the basic polynomials. So we will talk about what is constant, what is a polynomial, what is a variable, and the types of a polynomial. So uh, because this is our lesson two for the grade seven. If you're interested in this video, please keep watching. Okay, so let us define what is a polynomial. A polynomial is an expression that combines number and letters and involves at least one basic operation. We know, guys, that there are four fundamental operations. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So, when we talk about combines number, so I have here three, and letters. In the alphabet from A up to Z, we can use that as letters. Or we call that in another term, it's a variable. So, I have here 3x minus 2y plus 5. Okay, if we are going to identify the constant here, so 3, so when we talk about the constant, if we are going to identify the constant 3, 2, and 5 are what we call constant. What is a constant? A constant is a symbol that is fixed and assures one specific value or sometimes it is called as a numerical coefficient. So if we are going to identify guys, so this is what we call numerical coefficient. So I have here 3x. The numerical coefficient of this is 3. And what is a variable? If we are going to identify the variable here in our example, in 3x minus 2y plus 5, so the variable, guys, are x and y. And sometimes, this is called the literal coefficient. So this is what we call a literal coefficient. So if in our example here, 3x minus 2y plus 5, as what I have mentioned, that 3, 2, and 5 are what we call the, the constant, and the x and y here are what we call literal coefficient. Okay, so let's talk about the similar terms and the similar terms, and let us compare. Okay, so let us uh, differentiate what is the similar terms and the similar terms. So when we talk about similar terms, an algebraic expression with the same literal coefficient. If we are going to identify, guys, our literal coefficient here in this equation, 3x plus 2x plus 8x minus 10x, this is what we call the literal coefficient. So take note that an expression with the same literal coefficient, we can combine it. So if we are going to combine it, 3x plus 2x plus 8x, since this is addition, then that is equal to 13x minus 10x. That is equal to 3x. Why the similar terms, an algebraic expression with different literal coefficient? So like for example, 2x minus 4y plus 3m. So this x, y, and m are what we call the literal coefficient. And take note that if an expression with different literal coefficient are different, then we cannot combine it. So let's talk about what is a monomial. What is a monomial? When we talk about a monomial, it is an expression that consists of one term. So I have here an example, 3x. So this is one term, 4xy. This is one term, 5x y z this is one term and another example is b a b c d e 
Even though there are five variables, we can consider this as a monomial because we can separate it only with the plus and minus sign. So, nag-iisa lang po sila, one term. Another one, we have a binomial. It is an expression that consists of two terms. And how are you going to know or identify if that is a term, is a binomial, using the plus and the minus sign? So like, for example, x plus y is a binomial because one term, another term. And a minus b, it's a binomial because one term, two terms, and 3x minus y, this is what we call a binomial, separated by a plus and a minus sign. How about a trinomial? So when we talk about a trinomial, guys, it is an expression consisting two or more terms. So uh, how are you going to identify it? So an, an example of this, a trinomial, so x plus y minus z, one, two, three, so consists of three terms. Another one, 3a plus 2b minus 5, so 1, 2, 3. So this is what we call a trinomial. When we talk about a polynomial, it is an expression that consists four or more terms. So how are you going to identify it? By the plus and the minus sign. So 1, 2, 3, 4 consists of four terms. Another one, we have 5x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 7 consists of four terms. And uh, for the last example, I will be giving you 10x to the fifth minus 4x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 7. Okay, so this is what we call a polynomial. And sometimes... Another term for this are what we call the 3x squared, 4y minus 3x. Sa tatlo na ito, tinatawag natin na multinomial. So this is what we call a multinomial. Another term for consists of four or more terms. And when we talk about a degree of a polynomial, so when we talk about a degree of a polynomial, what is the meaning of that? The highest exponent. So when we are going to identify the degree of a polynomial here, 3x squared plus 4y minus 3x plus 5, what is the degree of a polynomial? So the degree of a polynomial is 2. In uh, example number 2, 5x cubed minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 7, the degree of a polynomial here is 3. And for the last example, 10x to the 5th plus 4x to the 4th minus 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus x plus 7, the highest exponent of an expression is 5. So therefore, the degree of a polynomial is 5. So that's it, guys. And I hope that you learned something today about the concept of a polynomial. Because when you are studying algebra so see to it that you're going to study first the basic concept for that thank you guys for watching and have a great day everyone